Okay, when doing your gas line, um, just use a little bit of nylog and uh, just send that, it's really just to lubricate the pipe. That's all. Uh, just where the thread, the um, nut rubs against the pipe. That's the only thing you want to put it on, nothing else. Just to give you a little bit more lubrication. There's not so much friction. We try and tighten it. Anyway, so uh, that's right there until I have put it. The nylon just a little bit um, right underneath here and just spin I just put a dab right there on the pipe and I spin the pipe I spin the nut on the pipe and that loops all the way around the edge of the pipe and then I put it together so that's it it just gives you a little bit of lubrication so it's not too tight uh, too much friction when you try and tighten it up okay and I do I when I go to set it up right now and try to pump up I leave this one here loose a little bit and that way I can see it suctioning that way I know it's actually working at the uh, your your pump is actually working. You can see your gauges are correct. You can tell it's working because it's pumping air. It's sucking air because I leave this loose, so it's sucking air out of there. And so you can see it on the pump and see it on the um, gauges. And then I tighten it, and you can see it go away. Uh, so that's what you're going to do. What we're trying to do is get 15 minutes of non-movement um, once it sucks it down uh, to zero or 120 to 30. Uh, once it sucks it down to where you want it to be, then uh, you're going to, um, that, that's your test, you know, to see if there's any leaks. So well, then you turn it off and you see if it uh, getting any more, um, if you got any more uh, air in there. So that's the only way you're going to be able to test this thing so you know it's actually working. Um, so here's your gauges right now and they're set. Uh, if I can kind of show you there, it's set at zero now. It's going to be around my, between 20 and 30. So you can see the 30 right there. Um, it's going to be right around there when it's all sucked out. And it'll stay there. Okay. And then that's what we test. We do about 15 minutes and see if it stayed. And then we're fine. So only the one side you're going to be using the blue. The, leave the red off. And uh, just open your blue thing so it's open. And so it's ready to suck air. And uh, you'll be able to tell on the gauge. And I got it set up um, right like that. And uh, so yeah, it's all set up, ready to go with the pump now. And so I just wanted to get you guys, you know, uh, making all the connections. That do, that's the same thing. You just want to make sure you put your nylog, um, just a little, just a dab, right there on the pipe, and then spin your nut on the on the uh, pipe, and then then put it on. And so you know it's all the way around the entire thing, and make it nice and lubed. Okay, just a dab. That's all right, a real small amount. Okay. It doesn't take much. All right, anyway, I'll go ahead and start the pump and see what happens. Okay, so you see it's right there, like that. And it's uh, fully sucking air. So I'm going to go up there and tighten this up. I'm going to do it by hand first so you can hear the pump move. Hear the pump okay so now i'll tighten it all the way up now but that, that's so you can tell it was sucking air right from there okay now it's so you can see it's down to between 20 and 30 right there closer to 30 and 20 would be sufficient but yeah you know 20 to 30 is fine anyway so uh that just started and it's all sucked down i got it tightened up now so vacuuming doesn't really mean vacuuming like sucking out like you're vacuuming a uh, a room full of dust or something like that. It does a little bit, mainly it's just sucking out air. So that you don't want no air in the system when you go to put your gas in and release the gas into the system. So what you're trying to do is vacuum up so there's no, nothing in there, okay? And uh, so we're gonna let this thing go and uh, for 15 minutes, and then we'll turn it off for 15 minutes and see if it goes back to zero, it means there's air in the lines, okay? So we're gonna let it go for 15 minutes uh, like this and then we'll turn it off and let, and let it sit for 15 minutes and if it's still at 20 to 30 uh, we'll know we're good to release the gas into the system and get it started okay now we turn the uh, pump off after 15 minutes and we're going it hasn't moved since uh, we left it we'll give it 15 minutes to see if it moves if it does not move it means you have no leaks and if you have no leaks that means you can release the gas that's the whole point of this thing making sure you have no leaks and if you have no leaks then you can release it and if you have a leak you'll see it on the gauge and it's one of those four connectors 
you know it's either one of these two that you hooked up or one of those two that's it it's only those two because it has gas inside the hoses when you release it and so that's the issue okay it's been 20 minutes and uh it's still exactly like it was before right about 30 and uh, it's perfect I mean, between 20 and 30 is great and uh, now it's, that means there's no leaks i mean now now that means so when you release the gas it won't get lost in the leak okay and it'll run the system so now we're going to go ahead and uh, release the gas uh, that just means we're going to pull these off here and using an allen wrench um we're going to uh, anyway, using an allen wrench, we're just going to uh, release the gas. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and just let you watch, uh, but there's nothing really to it. You just release it, it goes into the system. You open it up all the way, so... Um, oops. <laughs> forgot, to, uh, forgot to turn off my pump. Okay, so anyway... Um, That sucked. The, uh, hold on. Okay, now we're just going to release the gas. Um, it stayed under 30 for 20 minutes, or under 20 to 30, under 20 minutes. And so we're just going to release it so you just go like this until it, uh, it, it caps out, you know? That just means the gas is going through there. And uh, then do the same thing to the top one. Uh, I'll be able to see this. You just want to go till it bottoms out. Okay. Put your screws back on. Your ends. Pull this off. It's a little bit of gas will come out, but <laughs> a little bit of gas comes out. It's not the end of the world, and uh, you're ready to go. Um, go ahead and cap that off too. Okay, we'll tighten these up. And uh, that's it. We're ready to, uh, it's, uh, once we put our paste thing in there to turn it on. So on these ones here, um, they have a uh, you know, little black thing. I don't see it nowhere, but I'll find it anyway. You put it on there, and that's what livens it up. It's a little black thing goes sliding in there. And when I find it, I'll put it on, and uh, we'll be good to go. I'll go inside and turn it on. <laughs> 